Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In previous How Should I Train videos, I talked about aerobic and muscular endurance training, and I also had a video on how to build mass, specifically how to build lean muscle. But today I want to talk about strength and power. Some of you might know this is powerlifting, but before I go on further, my name is John Ward, also known as the Irish Bull. We are a family comedy fitness channel, so we are about making fitness fun. Okay, so when it comes to power training, you want to lift heavy. You want to have sets where you're lifting a weight with three to five nice, slow, and controlled repetitions. And most of your working sets should be to failure, or very close to failure. Also, you want to wait about four minutes in between sets to optimize each set. Now make sure you warm up properly also with some nice light short sets to prevent injury. And the older you get, the longer your warm ups should take. Also, lifting heavy can be really hard on the body, which brings me to this. May I suggest you alter your training routine every so often and lift lighter on some days, like on a rotation system. Example, two weeks power training, and then the other two weeks training for building muscle mass, which your sets in this case would be in the ranges of eight to 15 reps, depending on what muscle group you're training. And this, I believe, would also be beneficial for building pure power, and here is why. I am now quickly gonna talk about muscle fibers, which I explained more in previous How Should I Train videos. You see, having more muscle than someone else doesn't mean you're gonna be stronger than them. On the other hand, the more muscle mass you have, the more muscle fibers you have, the more strength potential you are gonna have. You see, when power training, your brain sends signals to your muscle fibers to go into action, and in turn, get thicker and stronger where when training for muscle mass, it's like you're recruiting more muscle fibers because your muscles are getting bigger. You see, the more muscle fibers you have, the more strength potential you're gonna have, sort of like YouTube. The more subscribers you have, the more potential views you're gonna get, but this doesn't always happen. You see, sometimes you gotta work your channel much harder to get those subscribers to actually view your your videos kind of like waking kind of like waking up muscle fibers and when you get more views you end up getting more subscribers kind of like that old saying what came first the chicken or the egg you see alternating your training from power training and muscle building training goes hand in hand so the more muscle mass you have the more muscle fibers you have to potentially lift heavier weight. And the heavier weight in term will let you have more volume when, uh, with your sets and reps when training for muscle mass. Therefore, you're gonna recruit more muscle fibers because your muscles are now bigger, which will again give you more potential for lifting heavy. So do you guys see what I mean about that old saying? what came first, the chicken or the egg. Now, when it comes down to how many days to wait in between doing the same workouts, example, bench press to the next bench press day, and like I say in a lot of my other videos, everybody is different. Mainly with age on this one, because the older you get, the longer it takes for your body to heal and repair. So with power training, training each muscle about once a week is a rough number. And when you're training for muscle mass, training each muscle group every four or five days is a rough number. Now, before I end this video, I don't want you guys to think you're not gonna build strength when you're training for muscle mass. And you're not gonna build muscle and recruit more muscle fibers when you're training for strength. It's just the different training styles will optimize what your goals are. I know I was brief in this video, so if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. Now, may I suggest 
you watch my other How Should I Train videos, which I have a playlist for, so you can learn more on how you should train. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.